Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Mystery Miss here. I am doing an unboxing today of Solstice by Christopher, sorry, Christopher Lovell. Um, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm unboxing this one right now because I'm starting the Christopher, oh my goodness, I don't know why words are so hard today. Christopher Lovell a thon um, on the Facebook page. I'll link the information down below if you're interested, but it starts, I believe, tomorrow because today is New Year's Eve. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, open this one up. I'm almost done with another one that I started um, a while ago for my daughter. So I might do a post review of that one in the near future. So I only have like a couple more squares left and then I'm all the way done with it. So I figured as soon as I'm done with that one, I'm going to kit it down and then kit this one up so I can be ready for the event on Facebook. Um, but like I said, uh, it is Solstice by Christopher Lovell. Uh, it is a diamond shape. It's 25.6 inches by 36.2 inches or 65 centimeters by 92 centimeters. And this is one of the kits that I bought um, for my Black Friday uh, bundle that I got. Um, yeah, so we're just going to open this one up here it is a larger kit so i'm gonna try and keep as much in frame as possible but i just have a small table so we will we'll just do what we can all right so um i'm sorry i don't know if i mentioned this is from diamond art club um if you've ever had a diamond art club kit you know that it comes with this fun little sticker you can put it on the side of the box as you can see, there's an indicator right there, or you can put it on the side of the box if you are storing them like this, or on the bottom, <laughs> not coordinated enough to do this, or on the bottom, um, but yeah, there's an extra little sticker there for you if you need it. We also have our wonderful Diamond Art Club Toolkit. These are the newer tool kits, which will have a cover minder and washi tape in them. And a couple other little extras. This is a square kit, therefore it does come with tweezers. Branded tweezers. And they are very sharp, so that's why they have that little plastic cover. Looks like we have a black pen which means that it comes with a matching black squishy to go on your pen. We have the standard tray. It looks like a, a sparkly clear tray. It has this little nobbin, nibbin, nobbin on the end to keep your drills from falling out when you're using it. Looks like we have a four placer and a seven placer. Make sure that's a seven. It is a seven. I just can't see the number. Okay. So a four placer and a seven placer. We have our little thingy of wax. The wax is heart shaped. Looks like it comes with a couple of them in there and it has this plastic film on it. So make sure you take that off before you start messing around with your wax. We also have this beautiful silver washi tape and a fun little paw cover minder. And my cover minders have recently been coming with the magnets not attached, so I've been having to having to super glue them on, back on. But apparently that seems, I, I checked online and it seems like a lot of people have that problem. This one, of course, looks perfect. Still has the um, magnet, oh, I'm going to have to go find that magnet in a little bit. But um, if you don't know what a cover minder is, when you're working on your painting, you can section parts off and pull back the plastic cover and then just stick this on top and that fun little other magnet that went somewhere, hopefully not down my heating vent. Um, and you put that underneath and it just 
underneath your canvas and it'll hold that plastic in place. So these are fun just to kind of, you know, add a little novelty or, or whatnot to your experience. Oh, and looks like there was one more thing in here. Oh, we're losing our washi tape. We just got some baggies in case you like to work from baggies. Um, I often use these when I'm done to store my drills in. I recently looked up online what people do with their drills and it seems like it's kind of half um, people saving them, half throwing them away. I keep them, but I'm not, I've never used them any extras. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm still going to keep them or what we're going to do. Um, so if you have suggestions, go ahead and leave those in the comment section. Um, let me know what you do with your drills when you are done with them. All right, we're op opening up this canvas. Took the little plastic cover off. We have our wonderful drills and our instruction booklet, which does have to, ooh, 20% off your first in-app purchase. So it looks like you can download their app and get it that way. And we have our labels. So we have our main picture, and if you do a logbook or something along those lines, you can use this in your logbook. These are the stickers that correspond with the drills. Um, it has the DC color code, or no, I'm sorry, DMC color code. Um, and that's usually the same code that is used on uh, embroidery thread. So if you've ever used embroidery thread, the color should be the same. We have the number that pertains to this particular kit and the symbols that will be on the canvas that match our drills. All right, so um, let's go ahead and open up this canvas, see how much we can get in screen here. And this is poured glue, Diamond Art Club does use poured glue, which means that how it's kind of bunched up right here, we can actually, I'm gonna come around to the other side of the table, we can actually roll this backwards to help flatten it out. Um, please only do this on poured glue. If you do this on double-sided adhesive, it could ruin the canvas. But poured glue is very versatile. Sorry, we'll get this done really quick. It's very versatile and it will allow you to do this. So. All right, let's try this again. You can also lay this flat. I also bought, um, or lay it flat for a couple of days and just lay it on something. It'll, it'll flatten out pretty easily. I also bought some hangers where, um, just like pant hangers, you clip right here up at the top and just let it hang. This is a big canvas. So again, my table is small, so we're gonna try and get as much of this in frame as possible. Um, the rendering on this is gorgeous. Um, for the Levelathon, I, he has so many wonderful images. Um, I picked this one in particular just because some of his images are really dark which I don't mind, but I felt doing a large kit with um, a lot of dark colors would kind of get a little boring. So that's just my personal preference. I'm sure I'll pick one of those to do in the future um, and maybe just do a bright colored one and switch to that one. But this one I loved because of the colors and the image. Um, if you see, there's a lot of color blocking around here. This is all one color. So the background's all this blue color. And color blocking is when you have a large area that's one color, so you can use your multi-placer and just probably breeze through this fairly quickly. Um, there's a few areas with some confetti. 
but they're very small. So like this area right here, I'll bring this closer, hopefully, so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's where you're probably going to be using your single placer. Um, sometimes if you have a big area of these, you can pull out multiple trays with this with the different colors in it so you're not switching out your colors all the time um but for the most part this looks like it is going to be a lot of color blocking and this is the lower half of the canvas we have some pretty butterflies through here um some bells looks like her tattoos are going to be really fun um i thought those were fairly interesting also those will be fun to do some more butterflies um, these flowers, possibly sunflowers. I'm not good with identifying flowers, but, um, yeah, like I said, this canvas is ginormous. So I apologize that I have to keep moving it around so you can see it. One other fun part I think is going to be these birds. Um, those are very pretty and they, they're, the colors are vibrant. So I think those will stick out. Um, let's look really quick at AB drills. If you don't know what an AB is, really quickly, it is, uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It has a special coating on it, which makes it, um, sparkle just a little bit more than the others, uh, with Diamond Art Club kits. The ABs are going to be anything that is, the color code is less than 150, I believe, if I'm wrong i apologize um so it looks like in this we have three a b's which are going to be one two and three so let's pull out the drills and see what those colors are um when i do this you're going to be crinkling a lot of plastic if you don't like that sound go ahead and just mute it Skip ahead, whatever you want to do, but we will be crinkling a lot here. So, Okay, and so with Diamond Art Club, the way they package their drills, they'll start by weight. So usually you'll have your first line of drills will be the ones that have the most. Um, so if we look at these, I'm not going to go through every, I'm not going to name every single color. We'll just kind of go through them fairly quickly. We don't want to make this <laughs> a, a super duper long video, longer than I'm already making it. Um, but yeah, so the, so you'll have, you know, it's, it's by weight. So these ones are going to be the ones that have more drills. And then, of course, it's going to sound like I'm a liar because it doesn't seem like this has a lot in it. But um, let's look. What else we got? So here's some other colors. It looks like we've got a lot of that green, brown. This looks like kind of like a dark green. Okay, so here's our first AB. Now, if you see... The colors on this, they sparkle, the top just sparkles a little bit more. Um, this is number 108, which if we look down here, this is going to be number one. So looks like we have some number ones right here in the plants, and it looks like it's going to be spread out through this whole canvas. Um, and if you can't tell, I just dropped a whole bunch of drills on the floor. Um, <laughs> but we have some more ones through here. It's like right here. Uh, so yes, so it's going to be accentuating the greenery portions. So let's see. Just a few of the other ones we have. Looks like we got a good mixture of grays and blues. This has to be, okay, so this has to be the blue that's around the outside because we have 
a bunch of this glue. I mean, it's almost a full line of it. And then here are our little ones with the, our, our drill that has a little less. So here is our second AB. It's actually number three, um, but the second one we came across. So it's the white one. It's, it's kind of like a creamy white color, and it has those little sparkles on it. Um, and so this is going to be accentuating... Yep, just drop more drills. <laughs> I'm glad they're already packaged. So it will be accentuate, accentuating these. It looks like all of these flowers are three. Um, we have a little bit more up here, but there are threes around there. It looks like she does have a couple of threes in her eyes as well. So, at least one more AB for us to find if I didn't drop it on the floor. Oh, and there it is. So this is an orange AB, and this is number two. And of course, we have it up here in our fun. This looks like it is in both of our birds. So. Out, oh, and some in the butterflies as well. So again, those will help accentuate those. It'll make it very, very pretty, stand out. And we'll just go through the rest of the colors really quick. And we have just, you know, a couple here and there. Usually when I see something like that, it scares me a little bit because of course, as you just saw, I drop things pretty regularly, so hopefully I won't lose these when I am doing this painting. Um, altogether, we do have 51 colors, and the symbol, <laughs> and the sim sorry, I'm just dropping stuff all over today. And the symbols um, look like your standard symbols. I see a couple ones that I haven't really, seen before but nothing that I am worried about when de deciphering this drill filled and we'll give you kind of a close-up of that not a lot to worry about with Diamond Art Club canvases they are very well made um, so that is this kit um, I am an affiliate of Diamond Art Club, which means I will put my affiliate link down below. Um, that will, it just gives me points if you decide to use that link. Please don't feel obligated. Um, I'm hoping to get a link that will actually give you a discount. I haven't received that one yet, but I am also affiliated with dreamer designs so if you're interested in dreamer design kits that one does have a discount code so that one I'll, I'll include that link below as well and that will give you a discount but both of these um, companies do have a lot of discount codes uh, uh, online usually when you buy something you never really should pay full price there are so many discount codes flying around so Thank you for letting me share this with you. Like I said, I'll put the uh, link to the event, uh, the Christopher Lovell event in the description, and I will see you all next year. Thanks, bye.